Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat at welcome po sa third anniversary edition ng The Stock Market Today. At uh, pasensya na po kayo. At uh, uh, around this time po kasi nag-start ang ating vlog, no? Pero hindi ko po na-advertise yung special anniversary edition natin. Ito po yun, ano? An introduction to the Philippine Stock Market. Ito po yung pinaka- third anniversary presentation po natin na ginawa ko po itong March but I only had time to do the editing noong uh, mahabang bakasyon, ano? noong um, August 19 to August 20, in-edit ko po ito at ito ay bagay na bagay sa mga newbies sa Philippine Stock Market at kung meron na rin po kayong background sa Philippine Stock Market, maganda pa rin pong refresher course po ito dahil ito yung present ko po sa mga uh, studyante na zero knowledge regarding the Philippine Stock Market. So, habang pinakikinggan ko ito, ba, okay din pala ito. Uh, very informative. Uh, hindi po sa nagbubuhat ng sariling bangko. But I try to make the presentation as simple as possible para maintindihan po nating lahat. At uh, around this time din po, nag-start po tayo ng, ng ating vlog, ano? At uh, nais ko pong pasalamatan ang isa kong kaibigan na nakilala ko lang po sa internet. Ito po si Miss JD. So dati po, nakikinig lang po ko sa kanya, pero siya po ang nag-encourage sa akin na ituloy ko po itong Uh, video tungkol sa Philippine Stock Market. Miss JD, maraming salamat sa iyo at mabuhay ka. Dumaan niyo pa sana mga subscribers mo. So, maraming po salamat sa inyo. By the way, kung hindi pa kayo subscriber ni Miss JD, mag-subscribe po kayo. At mag-subscribe din po kayo sa akin kung first time po ninyo dito sa aking channel. Okay, so tingnan po natin ang ating balita. Ang top story po natin, galing po ito ng Video Securities, 5% reserves ratio possible. So, required reserve po, alam niyo yung mga banko, they are required by regulation to contribute a certain percentage in, in which case 9.5% kasi yung current required reserve, no? Na ilalagay niyo po sa central bank. Lahat po ng banko, yun po yung requirement. Ano? I think this is for universal banks, 9.5%. I, I think the other banks would have the same or close to that rates also. So, yun po, yung 5% required reserves na yan, or yung 9.5% required reserves na yan, ginagamit po yan pagka nagkaroon ng problema in the financial system. Yun po ang paggamit po niyan ay halimbawa nagkaroon ng problema ang isang banko, yung pera po na nakalagay as reserve sa BSP, yun po yung ginagamit ng BSP na ilalend doon sa bankong yon para uh, matulungan siya sa kanyang pangangailangan. So halimbawa nag-bank run, so yun yung pagtulong niya. So pagka nilagay po ng banko yung 9.5% of your deposit, In the BSP, hindi po yan kumikita ng interest. Zero ang interest po. No? So, it's one way of controlling also the money supply. Yun po. So, pagka bumaba po yung interest rates, o, o tumataas po yung, rather kung gusto pa babain yung interest rates, ito po yung one of the tools to use it indirectly as a monetary tool. So, kasi po, compared to Vietnam, 3% lang yung required reserve dyan. And Malaysia, Malaysia at 2, Thailand at 1, tayo po ay nasa 9.5 pa. Okay. Government launches public bidding for NAIA rehab. And then TMP investing 4.4 billion to revive Tamarau model. Nabutan nyo po yan, yung Toyota Tamarau. 1990s po na nagkaroon ng Toyota Tamarau and ang term po na ginamit namin noon, common term po sa Toyota Tamarau, is a poor man's Pajero. Ang una pong SUV is the Mitsubishi Pajero. Yun po ang pinakaunang SUV. Ngayon, uh, nagayahan na po yung ibang mga car dealers. Ano? 
And Toyota came up with a Toyota Tamaro na multipurpose uh, vehicle similar to the SUV. Okay, so punta na po tayo sa, oh, before we go to the index, ito po, nakita ko po, no, stocks advance on fall in bonds yields as NVIDIA optimism boost the Nasdaq. Okay, so umakyat yung stock market, global bonds rose Wednesday following lackluster economic reports that mitigated worries about further CB central bank tightening. The tech-rich Nasdaq enjoyed outsized gains in anticipation of the earnings from artificial intelligence player NVIDIA. Maganda siguro ang earnings ito. Analysts said stocks were supported by a drop in yields of the 10-year treasury note which had hit multi-year peaks in recent sessions. Inverse po kasi ang relationship between interest rates and the stock market, lalo na po sa bonds. No? Pagka tumas ang stocks, pababa po yung presyo ng bonds. Yan po. So, sa PSE naman, meron po siyang bounce. Yan po. Pero maliit lang po yung bounce. Kanina po, nasa 62.78, pero nagkaroon po ng profit taking in the end. And ngayon po ay nasa 62.25.78 up 46.15%. Samantala naman, ang ating most active stock is BDO followed by Ali, ICT, and BPI all three and then flat. Pero BDO lang po yung most active stock at the top gainer. So yan po, apat na yan ang titignan natin. So unahin na po natin si BDO Yan, pataas po si BDO. Actually po, yung black line po. Actually, before this, ay gumawa na po ako ng... Yan. So, the black line serves as the support, which is at 1... Tanggalin natin to. Yan. Nasa 139.60 and 157.19 naman yung kanyang resistance following the parallel channel. So, tulad po ng sinasabi ko noon in my previous vlog sa few days ago, magandang pang long term po si BDO. Maganda po siya. At nag-level up na po yung kanyang dividends. Oh. From 30 centavos nung year end, naging 75 na po. Not much, pero nag-level up na po siya. Yan po. Pero hindi po kalakihan ang kanyang dividendo. But the capital appreciation, yun po ang pangunahing bentahan ng BDO dahil maganda po ang kanyang management, maganda po ang pamamalakad niya, and innovative po ang BDO. Yun po ang aking masasabi dyan. So, BDO is the number one bank in the country and their management is top-notch. Okay, next we have Ali. Si Ali... Naku, yan. So, meron po siyang, tingnan natin yung EMA. Meron po siyang slight recovery. Actually, it ended flat. Pero right now, bullish pa rin po si Ali. And paakyat pa rin po ang kanyang trend. Ano? But if you will be doing a parallel channel, yan po. Yan pa rin po siya. Nagbabounce lang po siya ng konti dito sa support level. Ano? The support is at 28.50. So, nasa 28.25, slightly lower than the support, but it is still the support area. And, uh, nag-crossover na po dito yung ating medium crossing over the long term, meaning it is already bullish, although in the short term, ay meron po siyang bounce. Yan. Yan po si Ali. Uh, resistance is at 31 pesos. Then si ICT naman ended flat din to eh. Pero based po dito sa ating parallel channel, moving up po siya. In general direction is moving up. Tingnan niyo po yung black line ano. So slightly moving up po siya no. So bullish pa rin po. And the parallel channel would show that the resistance is at 217. 202 naman po ang support. 
And the earnings wise, it's earning, although di naman kalakihan yung increase, 6.38%. Finally, we have BPI, which also ended flat. Yan. Si BPI po, nasa support area na po ito eh. Nandito po yung support area niya. Yan. Nasa 100... 109, no? Pero nasa 108.20, but it, this is still considered as support, while the resistance is here at 117 to 118 po. And BPI, kung titignan po natin, ang target price, it has a target price of 138 or 24.2% upside. So, yan po ang ating report sa stock market. Ikadalawang put apat ng Augusto. Tapos Benji Chidoro nagpapaalala. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. Maraming salamat sa inyong pagsubaybay hanggang sa muli. Stay safe. God bless. Bye for now.